Just look how nice this job is, all chalked out and uh, some red paint here to mark the corners so that we don't lose them if it rains. Uh, this is all limestone, this is a limestone area, so it's basically on limestone. We have big footings in this area, all of Manitoba has big footings, not normal. North America usually has other footings and so we're going to quickly do, in the next hour and a half, we'll do uh, two rows and then we'll see how we... Okay, we just finished the first row. The first row, how many lineal feet is this, Ed? 162. 162 lineal feet with a bunch of corners. Um, it doesn't really matter which way the corners go. They can go either way. It's a reversible corner, of course. So it really doesn't matter. You put it the way that you want, and then you start laying block. And then we did all the rebar within the wall. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you some close-ups of that. But we put all the rebar in. Now we've established our first course that gives us all our cutting and that'll help us all the way to the top of the wall. So that usually takes a little bit more time to do the first row just that you're established for all the other rows. Now I put a corner on and I'm going to go the opposite of what I had before. This was the short leg of the corner and that's the long leg. So now I'm going to go the opposite. I just drop that in, give it a hit. You're not going to damage it so don't be light with it. You want to have it nice and solid. And then you just start laying straight block and you make your cuts at the same spot as you did on the first row. Um, we're going to clip these and I'm going to show you how to do that after we do the second row. So that's it. You can see here we had all our rebar it was pre-cut on this job. Um, and I think that covers it. We've clipped the first row together just to hold the joints tight so that when we put all the horizontal rebar in, all the joints stay tight and the second row will fit really nice. So now we'll go ahead and do the second row. Okay, we got the second row done, and we've clipped everything, and we put the rebar in. Now it's time to put spray foam, and you got to shake this like for a minute, a lot, shake it a lot. But we make sure it's on the chalk line. First thing we do is we look down the wall. We're looking like this, just bending down and looking, and to see how flat it is. If it's crowned, that's going to be a problem. Then I get my saw out, and I go and I, I take a little bit of the teeth off of the interlock on the bottom to lower it. If it's sagging just a little bit, that's not a problem. That'll, that'll build properly. So you can do that. This footing was perfect. We didn't have to adjust the thing. Very good job. So now you can see down here, we've left the interlock on the bottom. And that's important. I want to do that so that I can get my spray foam underneath. And I go a bit of an angle and I just give it a shot. Just like this. That's all I do. And I come about eight inches and I do it again. The last thing you want to do is look in the wall and see that you're shooting spray foam in the wall. You don't want to do that. That's not good. You want concrete down there, not spray foam. Another thing we did here, we have a stack joint going here all the way to the top. We have another one going right over there all the way to the top. So we're just leaving these block out. We're not going to put any block here. We'll build the whole basement. We can put the scaffold up, all the windows in, and we can walk in and out here nice and casually and not waste time. So now we're not costing time climbing over. So that saves us a lot of time. Very easy to fill this in later. Half hour and we'll have it filled. Now if I come over here, I have a two foot jog. And for a two foot jog, it's just a matter of making a cut. This is gonna be our third row. I've actually cut, I've only got one tie, made a cut. The same with the opposite corner. One cut tie, make a cut put those together, stack joint, very easy to do, two foot exactly. Now in the corner here, you're going to see what we do. Here's the joint. We put a clip close to the foam and another clip close to the foam here. And then we do a vertical clip. I don't know if you can see this, this is already done. But these are our HV clips. We come in and we clip the two together on the first tie and the third tie and that clamps everything together to the straight blocks. So now as we build that's all going to be clamped together, it cannot come apart and as we place concrete nothing can grow. So that means we don't need any kind of strapping on the outside, just makes the job easier.